Well, Capital City Steelers is an organization that was founded in 1994 by a group of dedicated, obvious, obviously, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. And I'm the head coach of the Tiny Mike White team. They're five, six, and seven. Their first year playing football. No player had any prior previous tackle experience. We just finished a great game against Cleveland. The guys have worked hard all year. The coaches are very, very proud of the effort that we displayed today in all of our games thus far. Yes, Steelers mom! My son Caleb Dickens plays for the Tiny Mite White team and I also have a son Marquise Townsend that used to play for the Capital City Steelers and won a national championship back in 2005. Let's go Steelers, let's go! One of the few people that can say that I have two national championships in my household. My oldest son Dorian Scott Johnson won a national championship as a midget uh, player in 2005. Then the following year my uh, youngest son, Devon Sherrod Johnson, won a national championship for the junior peewee team in 2006. Don't want to leave my, my daughter, Danielle, who's also a cheerleader that made it to nationals last year as a cheerleader. Uh, and they placed, I believe, seventh in the nation. That's that right, Danielle? Go Steelers! Uh, that was just so wonderful because we got first place in locals and regionals, which put us to go to nationals in Orlando, Florida. And we spent, I want to say, like less than a week there, yeah. and it was just a lot of fun. Our team this year has a lot of potential, and I think that we can go back to Disney World. Go Steelers! I love it. It's a great camaraderie between the parents and the kids, and We've built some lasting relationships and it's fun. And when football season is over, we kind of send them out to do various other things. We say do something. Um, a lot of the coaches on the football uh, team actually run a track uh, organization as well called Track Explosion, which my kids run for. My daughter still runs for as well. So we try to keep them involved year round. Go Steelers! <laughs> I love it. Um, I have eight kids in total, so my son Kyrie couldn't um, play this year so I'm kind of sad about that but my daughter wanted to cheer this year so we was like okay let's do it but um, we got three more coming no four more it's family uh, uh, aspect as a community we keep kids off the street um, safe to say that in the in the uh, 11 years that I've been involved with the organization there's only one kid that I know of that fell victim to a violent crime and it was after he left our organization Go! At which point I was one of those uh, uh, meddling dads and was uh, admonished by a person to say, look, if you're going to do all this talking about practice, you might as well be a coach. And so I started coaching in 2000 and I've coached. From what I experienced over the years, for like about seven years, the um, coaches are more like a parent, another parent for kids that don't have their father in their life. They're like a father figure. Uh, this experience has been great because I've got an opportunity to spend a lot of time um, with young men and I have a passion for helping young men achieve their best effort and this football experience has been wonderful for me. The next couple of games my expectation is that we'll continue to improve and get better and display the talents that we've worked so hard on since August the 1st. Everybody, great job. We won with the effort, we won with the attitude, and we won because we're listening. We're listening to the coaches. So thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you on Monday. Practice